All right, so I'm gonna start this video with the warm up for the lesson five note sheet, which is solving rational equations. Uh, in case you've been wondering, uh, there is no lesson four sheet, so don't worry about that one. Um, the warm up says to state the domain restrictions for each of the expressions below. So we just worked on that in lesson three. So let's go ahead and zoom on in number one. And when we talk about domain restrictions, we want to know what is going to make our denominator equal to zero. So I am purposely going to set my denominators equal to zero. And in this case, there's two of them. So each one gets its own equation. And I'm going to solve these. So in the first case, pretty straightforward, add one to both sides, x is equal to one. Second equation, I need to factor this, and I'm thinking what's multiplying to negative two and adding up to positive one. So positive two, and I did that wrong, that would be negative one. Now that it's factored, I'm gonna take each factor equal to zero and solve that. So subtract two here, x equals negative two, add one, x equals one. Now, it's okay that these two duplicate. That's totally fine. We've seen that in other problems. It's not a big deal. So when we talk about the domain restrictions, you only need to write down each um, unique value for x. You don't have to write down duplicates, meaning you don't need to tell me x cannot equal 1, 1, or negative 2. Um, this is a duplicate. Just include it one time, and that's fine. All right, so x cannot equal one or negative two. All right, so that's problem number one. Let's go ahead and slide on over to number two here. Now, again, I'm gonna focus just on the denominators. The numerators are nice. I don't really care though. So let's take each of these denominators, set it equal to zero and solve it. So x is equal to negative five. And then I'm gonna take my other denominator, x squared, plus 3x plus 2 equal to 0. Let's see, x plus 2x plus 1 this time. I'm looking to multiply to 2 and add up to 3, so that works. Take each of those factors equal to 0. So let's see, subtract 2, x equals negative 2, subtract 1, x equals negative 1. So my total domain restrictions here x cannot equal negative 5, negative 2, or negative 1. So that takes care of problem number 2. Let's go ahead and slide on over to number 3 here. Same idea, just focus on the denominators. Okay. So if we focus on just the denominators, I'm going to set each denominator equal to 0, and I'm going to solve it. So the first one here, x squared minus 25, I'm going to factor into x minus 5, x plus 5, and then set each factor equal to 0. And basically, you're going to get x equals 5, x equals negative 5. So that's the first two. Now I have this denominator. I'm going to set it equal to 0. And I need to set basically each individual factor equal to 0 so I can solve it. So x plus 7 equals 0. So let's see, that's going to get me x equals 2 and x equals negative 7. So in this case, I have a total of four domain restrictions. There are four different values that I have to throw out of the denominator. So x cannot equal 5, negative 5, 2, or negative 7. Now we're going to keep practicing with domain restrictions in the equations that we're going to solve because every time we solve a rational equation, we want to find the domain restrictions to make sure that our solution isn't part of that. So you're going to see more of these domain restrictions, but if you've got any questions or concerns, please 